This is a rare glimpse of an FBI informant hard at work. He's encouraging an Ohio man to smuggle computers to militant groups overseas. Ask him if they need any laptops, because that's how the brothers are communicating, you know, email. This never-before-seen video is part of an Al Jazeera investigation of undercover informants. They are central to a controversial counterterrorism program that lures Muslim men into plots concocted by the FBI. The FBI thought I was the greatest informant on the planet Earth. Former informant Craig Monte pretended to be a devout Muslim to gather information for the government. He acknowledges that informant-led sting operations target young men who are vulnerable but not necessarily dangerous. They're just some unfortunate fool that got caught up in a sting operation. Test, test, one, one. The informant policy rarely has been challenged. Al Jazeera's investigation raises concerns that since the 9-11 attacks, the U.S. government is provoking crimes that otherwise would not occur. To what extent did the FBI have a role in enticing, inducing, um, luring these individuals into the, into the crime. The initial sense of who's pushing what agenda um, is still a gray area. Rothschild Augustine was convicted of providing material support to al-Qaeda. In his case, the only connection to al-Qaeda was a paid FBI informant who was posing as an operative. I am representing the Sheikh Osama bin Laden. Augustine spent seven years in prison. He is speaking for the first time publicly about the case. My only issue with the government, look for who you're really looking for. Make sure they really, you know, what you try to make them to be. Don't bend and break your rules, just, you know, try to catch the bad guy and, you know, you really being crooked as the people you're chasing. Rothschild Augustine is one of nearly 200 people caught by the FBI in counterterrorism sting since 9-11. Despite public concerns about civil liberties, the FBI is committed to developing new informants in Muslim communities across the nation. Trevor Aronson, Al Jazeera, Washington.